Alright, today I'm going to give you guys, give you guys a detailed look at this uh, DC Collectibles icon figure, icon figure. And uh, the figure is uh, Harley Quinn. And uh, let's see, back of the box has uh, other characters that are available. And these are the four. So let's take a look at Harley and her accessories. So here's Harley Quinn outside of packaging. And uh, let's take a look at the accessories. <coughs> she comes with a uh, a few hands, a total of uh, five hands, uh, three gripping hands, and uh, two fists. And uh, here she has, uh, she also has her revolver she's holding with that trigger hand, and then the mallet. And uh, too bad it doesn't have any markings or any drawings on it, uh, like the um, Injustice one. But uh, yeah, there it is. Kind of neat. And uh, let's take a closer look at the figure. Now this thing is uh, not that big. Uh, I believe all the icon fi icons uh, figures are kind of small. Uh, they are about 5.75 inches in height. Um, now a closer look at the head sculpt. Here you can see she has blue eyes. Um, wish this figure came with um, another head sculpt, uh, and, uh, one that's uh, a little maybe angry head sculpt or uh, or some sort of a different expression. Cause uh, this one looks like uh, she is uh, just a, just got a little smirk and uh, it's more of a standstill type of pose uh, with this uh, look. Uh, if you were to have her um, getting ready to smash someone with her mallet, uh, I don't think that's the facial expression she would give. Uh, I guess you could use it for the pistol uh, when she's uh, pointing at someone, but still, it would have been nice if he uh, if she came with uh, a different head sculpt, a second one, and. Uh, Let's go on and take a look at the rest of her. Not a whole lot uh, to show because uh, it's just a figure. Uh, she doesn't have any, uh, any type of accessories other than the collar piece. It's made out of rubber. And uh, everything else is uh, it's skin tight. So it's just a sculpted figure with a different paint job on it. Now when you first get this figure out of package, uh, you would find out that uh, she's a little bit hard to pose, especially around the head. Uh, but if you want her to pose a little better, a little more range, all you have to do is just uh, heat it up with a hairdryer around the neck area and uh, it will soften up that uh, joint a little bit. And uh, you should be able to have her look uh, tilt her head uh, quite a bit, like so. And here you kind of have her looking down a little bit, uh, but she can't really look up that much. Uh, it is due to the um, the, the socket joint, uh, how deep the socket joint is. So uh, it's a little limited as far as the head movement. And as far as the shoulders, uh, she could lift all the way up to about 90 degrees. It is on a ball hinge joint and uh, it could rotate 360. And then the uh, bicep, it's on a uh, cut joint, so definitely you can rotate her 360. And then you, we have double jointed elbows, and uh, here you can see how far it could go, it could bend. And then the wrists are on a ball hinge. So as far as uh, range of motion, uh, the arms are quite good. Uh, you can give her a quite a bit of, uh, 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 quite a lot of uh, range of motion there. And then uh, uh, chest there is a ball joint uh, again that too it's a little bit limited uh, due to the way they sculpted uh, waistline and uh, the connection between the waist and, and the chest and as far as the uh, abdominal crunch uh, you can see not a whole lot uh, you she could do a little bit but uh, that's including the um, the chest joint there uh, he, she could kind of lean forward about that much arch back uh, she could do a little bit more and then uh, the hips are on a ball joint and the hips are on a ball joint and uh, she can move forward uh, her legs can uh, you can see she can move forward about that much uh, so sitting down position uh, she's uh, definitely able to do 
And as far as swinging out, you could do about that much. And uh, double joint knees, you could bend about that much. And then uh, she has a hinge ankle and the ankle rocker. So quite nice. All right, and here's a size comparison between uh, Harley and other figures. Uh, as I mentioned before, she is about 5.75 inches in height, and uh, she is a little shorter than the male characters. Male characters are about 6 inches in height. And uh, Ultron here from Marvel um, Legends uh, is definitely taller than her. Uh, just okay, just to give you guys a sense of how tall she is with other figures. So overall, um, I do like these figures uh, quite a bit, uh, these uh, Icons uh, figures. Uh, I believe they are quite nice, and uh, and uh, as far as our range of motion and articulation points, they're quite high, and uh, health sculpts are nice. The sculpts on these uh, figures are really nice. Um, you can see Harley here. Um, yeah, that is uh, very impressive, and uh, paint job on her, it's, uh, it's good. I don't have any issues with uh, paint bleeds or whatsoever. Now this figure is going to set you back about uh, 20 25 bucks, depending on uh, where you try to find this one. Uh, I got it in a comic shop, uh, yeah, about 25 bucks, and um, uh, I do recommend this. Uh, it is a quite, uh, it is a nice looking uh, Harley Quinn figure, and uh, if you don't have one, uh, this might be a good start for you. So there you go, there's Harley Quinn from uh, DC Collectibles Icons series. Thanks for watching.